that Bassett Film Book of Tassoya used to do before any demonstration or series of uh, events. And we're going to try to keep it historical. And uh, so I'm going to go through what I remember. It's been over 50 years, so bear with me. So, uh, What we did there was wake up the evil spirits and then we chased them away. And to finish it, anybody know what I got here? So. <laughs> Put it on the bad spirits. Yeah. You're going to get it. You got all over me. I know you do it in Okay, before we get started, there's 45 self-defense techniques that Master Shim Booker Tatsuyo would teach us. Not all in one day, because there's too many, and he didn't want to sacrifice the time involved in tatas, peon, uh, uh, sparring with equipment, without equipment, bag work. So he used to try to teach you maybe up to five every chance he got. But over a period of time, he did cover all 45. And what he did was uh, take these from different countries. So when you do some of these, they'll be familiar. And also from different masters. So it's all historical. He started teaching this back in 56, when he introduced Shishinu Karate to the world. So a lot of schools have gotten away from teaching these because they're more involved in MMA, racing, jiu-jitsu, all that fancy stuff, which is great, a lot of mat work. But Marine Corps follows this old KISS rule. Keep it simple, stupid. So we like to follow that. And some of it is boring, and it's simple, but when you're in a fight, you can learn a whole bunch of techniques, but if you gotta say, let me see, step one was this, step two was this, step three, it's too late, you're already on the ground. So your reflexes is what should be the one to react. Without thinking, when you accomplish that in martial arts, you're on the right track. Then you have learned how to defend yourself. Somebody attacks you, you don't think about it, you automatically react, but with your reflexes. If there's an opening, you've taken advantage of it. If there's an attack, you block and you counter without having to think about it. So Master Shield Book Tatsuyo would start you off with good, basic, fundamentals, and from there you would improve on it. So today what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you the first technique that Master Shield Book Tatsuyo would teach you. Then I'm going to leave it up to you because let's say uh, I learned from one out here. This is just for introduction. Okay, let's say let's say he grabs my wrist, right? And that first technique I learned is simply breaking the weakest part of the hand, right here. So I'm in here. I would strike, shoot those grabs into your hand that's here. I would go down, but then he would have to help me up. <laughs> and, and you still might have to. You go down on your knee, and you execute a strike. Or you execute a strike, wherever you want. Whatever. <laughs> you'll have to, uh, thank you, brother. You'll have to forgive me, I'm not in the best of shape right now. But I'm managing. And now I find out we have a pain doctor here. It's a little bit too late. I asked him for the needle, but he, he didn't want to win. What about your empty hands? So, so what I'm going to have you do, first technique, I will tell you what Master Shiva Puka Tatsuyo taught you. Then I want you to execute two or three reflex actions. Use your imagination. That comes natural. Don't think about it. Gouge through the eyes. Throat strike, kick to the groin. Keep it in mind, vital parts. Can't remember where the vital parts are? 
Good example is center of the body. When you do the peon basics that Master Show Buddha taught, center of the body. And what you want to do, sports karate, one punch, one kick, you got a point, you stop. Hey. All right. That's not going to get it on the street. On the street, the attack stops when the person is maimed or destroyed. You notice I didn't say kill. We've got still school kids here. We have to be politically correct. <laughs> so we maim or destroy our enemy or opponent. We take the hill at all costs. So everybody follow me there? So that's why I got you extending your attack. The simple technique to get away from it and then continue the attack till the person is down or out. I think you'll enjoy it. I know my two Yuki's that I worked with yesterday enjoyed it. <laughs> so, all right. So, preferably, we could all fit on the map, but we might have to get around in a big circle. And I'll get in the center. And if I can have my two Yuki's up there, Chris and the 